dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother me. Far from ideal, and some time must pass before I fully recover, but yes, a bit better, thank you. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do, because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found Deadlaugh some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No. Because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you. The pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. <sighs> if I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count... Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlaf? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What?
Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes. That you'd... departed. <clears throat> uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems Dedlaff had made friends with him. Still killed him. Chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury. Remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm. Interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Detlef first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Detlef. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Blacks don't usually work nights. Need to come back during the day. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? His father, and you won't touch him. I won't let you. Oh, poppycock. I knew his father. A grifter, a cheat, just like his brood. I'll teach him honesty. He'll not leave muck at our shop door just to draw patrons to his own stall! So back away, drifter. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Did I get a piece of you, Grey Groin? Second we'll like him, Teach you to help scoff lords and cheats. Ow! Oopsie! Ah! Bad move. I jumped this What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men? What are they doing? Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. 
A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official Dutchy business. Come on. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Yeah? How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard, and as you're the stronger, come morn you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true? They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock, not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand, with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know, for free. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. As you wish, sir. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. of that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Red door. One the boot black mentioned. Won't 
budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. sometime. Hmm, somebody fixed this recently. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. little trinket. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Attic, let's go. So this is his nest. Need to look around. Hmm, somebody fixed this recently. Woman's likeness. Bit smudged. Is his lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Nice little trinket. <laughs> 